vitals. So you can change the vitals. Pretty good. Maybe like show me about frame IO, something about frame IO. And like if you are shooting and you just upload to the cloud. Yeah. So we're showcasing what we have for what we call a camera to cloud. Yep. And we have it integrated with uh, Filmic Pro as well as inside other devices. We have, yep. we have this one is a Filmic Pro demo, so okay. uh, basically you know, you say record and as soon as you're done it will down sample your clip, so you can record ProRes, but it will only send proxy into the cloud. So okay. you create a proxy, and it will automatically show up um, on your account. It's uploading right there. Happens is that now we have like in Filmic Pro, we have direct integration. You say CMS and Frame IO. You go in there, and on the Frame IO tab, you hit, you click it. This one's already paired, but uh, you click here, it will generate a code. And on your Frame IO, are you do you have you used Frame IO before? Or? Uh, I heard it before. I know it's some uh, it's in the delivery page in DaVinci too. Yes, I think. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, Frame.io is a cloud collaboration system. Okay. And Adobe acquired us. We're now part of Adobe, but we are very much an open ecosystem yep, that we yep, work yep. with other platforms mm -hmm. as well. So essentially, what it is when you um, uh, do you have an Adobe Creative Cloud account? Yep. So with that, you can log into Frame.io, yep. and we'll get you 100 gigabytes of space, up to two users, and you can use all the features, camera to cloud, all of it. So you can use the entire thing with that account. Mm -hmm. So give it a shot, give it a try. Sure. What it does, you log in here with your credentials, and on the left side, uh, that will be your account. You have multiple accounts here, but you're going to have one account here that's going to be yours. And, and then you have projects. Mm -hmm. You can click the plus button, you make a new project. Essentially, it just creates a space for you to manage your files. Yep. And once you do that, you have CDC Connections tab. So over here, when you log in, it's going to get you a code. And uh, you know, just come here and do add a new device. Uh, you know, yeah. when the device is ready, it's going to ask for the code, you punch okay. in the code, it pairs. Pretty yeah. simple. So that's, uh, that's the camera to cloud functionality. So once that's paired, uh, you can tell it where to put your files so it can create a folder. And essentially what it does, so we have a, it creates a cloud devices folder in your uh, project. And we have, it, it automatically creates the date folder for you. You don't have to do any of this. Mm -hmm. So today's date. And then we have multiple devices connected. So this is on the video. And we also have multiple cameras. This one is the filming. And uh, over here, anything you record goes up there. So now on the collaboration side of things, what you can do once you're done with your so here uh, in in DaVinci as well as in Premiere Pro, yep. we have integrations where you log in. So you use DaVinci Resolve? Yeah, I okay. use so sometimes you, Premiere too. Yeah. Yeah. So in DaVinci, if you go to the preferences, scroll all the way down. Uh, oh, there's a Frame IO login. Yeah. You uh, log into Frame IO and uh, on the import side of uh, uh, Windows, you will see a Frame IO added as like a for like your hard drive. So this oh. hard drive, it's going to be Frame IO. Okay. You click it, your project and your media will show up. You can drag it and drop it into your bin. So you like drag it and drop it into my bin, it will just download all those files. Yeah. Okay. So what it does, anything you upload to Frame IO, it will automatically create proxy files as well. So if you upload a uh, ProRes 4K 422HQ, you will also make 1080 H.264s for you, 1080, uh, and you can see, you can see different versions that it creates. Uh, so. so it will generate and create some proxy online. On the cloud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. And then, uh, like in DaVinci, when you pull the clip down, it will first download the lowest resolution 
so you can start playing with it right off the bat. And as you're, uh, you know, uh, going, you know, playing with it or doing your editing, yep. it downloads in the background and it replaces the file, so your resolution improves. Okay. So it happens pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So you get those files, you can edit your proxies, and when you're done with it. Um, you can download, you can relink it to your uh, original camera files um, and, and uh, you can do online offline workflow if you want to. Uh, and in, on the render page, uh, when you choose Frame.io, it'll tell you where you want to uh, render this to. You select the folder on Frame.io, you hit render, it renders it locally and then automatically uploads it to Frame.io so you can share with your clients. Okay. And the good thing about Frame.io is that you also have, let's say this is a clip that you render. Yep. I just want to send someone uh, to review it. Okay. So you have multiple ways of sharing it, and the share, you say click for share for review, gets you a link. And if you want, if that person is not part of your account, if you're a third party person, change that to public. <laughs> Option was there. Add to public, and that link you can share with them. And you also have settings, so you want to allow them to download or comment. Do all the settings. So yeah, you can turn on and off these features for them. You want them to be able to download the file or just view it. You want them to be able to comment, review approval, things like that. Mm -hmm. Passphrase, link expression. You can also add watermark ID to your files right there. Mm -hmm. So that saves you a render step, but usually you have to do that. And also, the good thing is that once you render from the Vinci Center here, send it to someone, they can comment on, let's say, you know, I know this part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. these comments will show up as more as time as markers on your timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can just, uh, you know, uh, obviously like address it. Uh, you can approve. You know about version stacking? No. So let's say you sent this to a client. They give you some notes and you fix them. Mm -hmm. And now you have made this file. This is a new version, let's say, for example. Okay. And you upload it to the cloud. You can just drag it and drop it over. Now oh. we created V2. So you send the same link to them. They have. They can actually go back to version oh. one, version two, or you can do a side by side comparison. Okay. View. Cool. <laughs> so they can see what's changed. They can play both clips. Okay. Side by side. This is pretty useful. Yeah. <laughs> so for review and approval, this is we use it all the time. So I, when I do my uh, color gradings for our pro projects, mm -hmm. I always send one offline version and then my grade, and then they just do a comp comparison version. Mm -hmm. And this, we have apps for iPhone and Apple TV, so you can view it on multiple devices. Okay. Uh, so that's that's the benefit of using it. And that was the Filmic Pro camera to cloud. Then we have integration directly with Fujifilm. Yep. Oh, so integration? Yeah. Mean, like, so that integrate means, into the camera? Yeah, it's in the camera. So you have a frame IO menu in the camera. Wow. Um, this was one of our biggest announcements. So with this, you can actually send ProRes, proxies, or stills to frame IO directly. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so also stills? Also stills. So we okay. added still support okay, with, without release. Nice. Because before we be only it was only video. Yeah. Now we have vertical formats and PDFs, PSD files, raw files on the camera. We have full support for that. Okay. And it keeps expanding, so we just uh, added the support. So here, a similar concept. Uh, let me just clean this up real quick. Same concept, camera to cloud. So if I shoot a still, it will go under the stills, right? Shoot a still. It says new file added. Stills. Uh, we have different cameras. I just don't know which one this one is. I'm hoping this is it. Yeah, this is it. There you yep. go. So I'll put it right there. 
and you can select what files you want to upload so we're doing just doing jpegs you can have raw uh, be uploaded you can have raw and jpeg to be uploaded prores, prores so if i shoot raw and i want to upload jpeg yeah. mean like it's doing the processing stuff on the camera or yeah. like on the cloud it happens here okay got it yeah so that's the benefit of it it happens in the camera quickly so you can set the camera to shoot dual mode with all, all photography cameras you can pretty much do yeah, that yeah 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 do raw and jpeg yeah and you can select only jpeg to be sent to the cloud okay yeah same thing with video this can shoot prores so uh, and you can tell it and you can also do ProRes and H.264 so you can tell it hey just I mean like record it simultaneously uh, I, I believe it does yeah <laughs> yeah so or just upload ProRes instead <laughs> you can upload the ProRes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but so, it may like take tons of time so. it may it may uh, it depends on your workflow sometimes you're just doing uh, small takes and oh, short right. bursts yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff so uh, just send the progress up there and it's there proxy will put it on the cloud okay and uh yeah but this one uh, hey uh jt quick question yeah. you know if this thing can be uh yeah because then it needs to um if you go to so if I go over here to the bring my own camera to cloud, select file type, I can select the file types I want to be okay. uploading. So here's my ProRes if I want that, my proxy, and you know I can upload them all if I wanted to. Okay. I don't really want to do that because internet's not great here. Yeah. But that's where you can choose uh, okay. what types of files you're uploading. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So that was one of our integrations that we announced, and uh, that's fully there. Also, Adam is Shogun. Yeah, Connect, I know that. Uh, yeah, Teradek, and then we also have integration directly with Red cameras okay. on the other side. Oh, the Connect, the new one. It's Red a new one. Red Raptor Excel oh. and, and uh, V Raptor, V Raptor Excel. We also have it have a beta firmware for Komodo, so okay. Komodo can do it too. Oh, directly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. review part, like I'm gonna send a video to the client. Do they need? to have an Adobe account or I just send a link? Uh, what I showed you was when you send a link, Oh, oh you mean they I share and, oh, okay, got it, got it. If you do a public one, they don't have to be a part of your team or okay. account, so that anyone can view it. And you can put a password on it, it will show up. Okay, got it. And you can also, the beauty of it is that you can also hide comments from uh, the, you know outside clients so uh, so you have those features like that so when you're commenting if we go back to that station okay so if you're adding comments internally let's yep. say you know um, oh the clients won't so see one, those you can comments that. yeah clients. okay so you can awesome. change that to team only Maybe like then, your colorist, yeah. editor, exactly. audio you department. Edit, color, director, when they say change this shot, this, this is like shaky, oh, okay. stabilize that shot, you know, uh, uh, this is too pink, this is whatever, you have all these different notes. You can change that to be team only. And that way when you share a link, when you share a public link, they will not, they will not show up. Okay. So the team member are I mean, like they need to. I mean, like they need to be the Creative Cloud subscription. So user. not just subscribers. No. So here, um, so if you log in with your frame with your Creative Cloud account to Frame.io, it will give you two seats. Okay. So you can add another person to come and log into Frame.io okay. or Frame.io account and, okay. be, and collaborate with you inside that project. Okay. So if so, if I have my own Creative Cloud account, my Creative Cloud account will be separate from yours because we don't want these to be commingled. Oh. You know? So it's yeah. not like just a Creative Cloud thing; it's with inside of your project. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I think yeah. Thanks for but sharing. Also, uh, my pleasure. Yeah.